Hey guys, I've been looking at oval wall shelves and I love the way they look so I decided to recreate my own wall shelf with my own design using hula hoops. These are really strong hula hoops that I got from Walmart that can almost be as strong as metal. I'm unwrapping it and then I cut it into two. I also got the ones from the Dollar Tree but they're not strong enough so I will recommend using the strong ones from Walmart. I also have a video that I made for lighting. The link is going to be in the description box below and at the top right on how I used hula hoops to make an artistic floor lamp. So like I said, I used strong hula hoops from Walmart and then I cut them into two and spray painted them silver. Like I said before, these are really, really strong. So I measured them to make sure that they were equal, but I made a mistake because here I have 35, 36, and 37 because I wasn't measuring it the right way. So I measured them all with 35 inches using a measuring tape and placed one pipe on top of the other for better accuracy. These are wooden plaques that I got from the Dollar Tree. I got two of them. And so I placed one down and then took one of the hula hoops that I just cut and placed it on top of it. And I will be using screws to attach both pieces together. It is really important to pre-drill the holes before using the screws. I did the same thing to the other end. Now I'll be repeating the same thing that I did to the other plaque. This is really strong. Now to make it more sturdy, I added more screws. I added one screw here and another to the other end, making two screws on each side. This is a mirror that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna detach the mirror from the frame. So I'm using just the frames. I'll be using two of these mirrors because I'll be making use of the longer sides. So now I'm cutting off the pointed tips and making sure that they're all equal. I use the frames from the mirror because that's what I had at home. Just like I said before, I'm making use of the longer sides, giving me four pieces in total. I spray painted them silver using the silver spray paint that I got from Walmart. And now I'll be attaching them to the sides. And like I said before, it's much easier when you pre-drill the holes first because the hula hoops are kind of strong. So you have to pre-drill the holes first before attaching them together. I also pre-drilled holes here to avoid them from breaking. And then I'm going to be using screws to hold them all together. I had one frame here and one at the top. And I also made two at the other side, but you can use more depending on how many shelves you want. Now this is a shape that I want to make to extend the design here and also at the bottom. So the technique that I used was to place the whole design on top of a foam board and then trace out the arc. I kept moving the design forward and tilting it at certain angles until I got a pointed tip. This is what I have. Now I'm going to be cutting it to fit at the top. It fits, so I'm going to be cutting out four more of these shapes. And then I cut a large strip from a poster board and glued two pieces together with it on all the sides and created this. And I made two of them and glued them at both ends of the design. I'm using black ribbon to cover the white frame. I did not have paint or duct tape, that was why I had to use a black ribbon. This is a diamond wrap that you can also get at the Dollar Tree, but I got mine from Walmart. I started gluing them onto the top and at the bottom of the design. The Dollar Tree carries the wide bling wrap, which is really easy at this stage because you're just going to place it on top and just glue it on. But I'm attaching these ones one after the other because these are the types that I have at home. This is a long strip of wood that I have at home and I spray painted it silver and I'll be attaching it at the back. Now 
I used gems to cover up the exposed sides of the hoops. I'm also going to be covering the rough edges of the frame with gems. For the shelving, I'll be using 4x6 photo frames that I got from the Dollar Tree and I got two of them. I detached the glass from the frame and spray painted it silver. And now I'm going to be putting back the glass and I cut a piece from a foam board and placed it inside. Before I continue, I have this part of the design covered. So I decided to just cover the other side using foam board. I used my hot glue gun to attach the foam board to the design. Back to the shelving, I'll be connecting the photo frame here and here. I pre-drilled a hole by the side here and then pre-drilled a hole also on the wood in the middle. I later decided to add two screws on the sides that's holding the photo frame and then one on the wood at the back. These are one inch square mirrors that you can get from any craft store but if you don't have access to them, you can order them online and I have a link for that in the description box below. I'm gluing the mirrors to the wood and then after that, I'll be gluing them around the photo frames. For this little open part here, I'll be using leftover mosaic mirror tiles to cover it up. I glued the mirrors to the frame, but then noticed a little gap here and did something a little bit different at the bottom. And I let the space here be in such a way that the hoop will cover it up. So I had to remove the ones that I made earlier for the frame that's at the top and glued it in a similar way like the one that's at the bottom. I'll be covering both sides of the wood with gems. I'm also going to be covering the frames by the side, but with larger gems. And that will also be covering the screws that's showing. To mount the shelving unit, I turned it to the back, and I'm going to be using long nails to mount this. But if you prefer to use command strips, you will have to keep up stacking more of this wood just to make sure that you get a height that will compensate for the thickness of the hula hoops. This is what mine looks like on the wall and I absolutely love it. probably make a small one for myself and sell this one because I have a friend who is definitely gonna like this. I wanted to play around with the design at the top and at the bottom so I used the leftover table runner, a piece from a table runner that I had and glued it to the top and the bottom. So if you want to add more pattern to it you can do it this way or well, then you can just leave it plain and simple. It's all up to you. I took one of the pictures that I got my inspiration from and put the one that I just made side by side with it. And I really love the way mine turned out. Now to create shelves like the one you see at the left, you can just take a piece of wood and place it across to rest on top of the frames that are by the sides. So basically you can use whichever shelving pattern that suits you best. I 
hope you enjoyed this video and remember to like and share it with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.